Hey, hey, everyone. Good morning. It's Jen from You So Much. I am so glad to be here. I hope any of you who are joining can say hi in the chat box. I see Jay Rises there. Hey, hey, Jay. What's up? What's up? Happy Saturday morning. I am here to celebrate with you all and have a little chocolate for breakfast and um, drink a little coffee because I'm still kind of waking up today. I um, was able to sleep in a little bit. My daughter is out of town at a retreat, and um, I usually get up pretty early on Saturday mornings to take her to dance, and did need to do that today. So I am just chilling, and um, you'll probably see me like speed up halfway through because I'm a fast talker anyway. But once the coffee hits my system, it'll it'll be there. Hey, Lily Ma, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, for those of you first timers who have never seen my chocolate for breakfast videos before or have never joined me live, I don't know if Lily, if you've ever been here live for a chocolate for breakfast, but um, what I typically do is celebrate three awesome things that are going on in my life, and um, I celebrate them by eating some chocolate for breakfast because we should have pleasure all day long. We should wait till desserts, at, at, you know, late, late at night, and, um, and besides, having chocolate is really good for you. It's good for your metabolism. It's got great antioxidants. Um, in fact, I know I've just said this before on my channel, but I'll say it again, that um, eating chocolate in the morning actually has helped people lose weight. Um, and I don't know if it's because it helps like get that sweet craving over with, or if it's because of all the awesome magical properties of chocolate, which I could totally see that being the case. So any hoot, if you, um, if you are joining me live or on the replay, if you would be um, so inclined to share what you're celebrating as well, I will be happy to read it out loud, especially for, obviously if you're live, I'll read it out loud. If you're, if you're not, um, if you're watching this later, just share, share in the comments below what you're celebrating. I'd love to know, and I'd love to know what you're celebrating with. You know, if you hate chocolate, which is crazy to me, um, then you can celebrate with something else. Obviously, you can celebrate whatever with whatever makes you happy, whatever your pleasure is, um, with whoever your pleasure is, right? You could be snuggling up with a loved one and um, celebrating your awesome stuff that's happening in your life. I really believe that the more we celebrate, it's kind of an expression of gratitude, and the more awesome things that... Um, more awesome things to celebrate come into your life. So, um, anywho, I um, today wanted to share with you what I made for chocolate for breakfast. Um, every Saturday, I make a little, some yummy chocolate breakfast recipe, and today I made some chocolate granola. So, um, this is what it turned out like, and it's got all kinds of good, healthy stuff in there. And so, I'm gonna give this a try. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good, guys. Mm -hmm. mm. Really delicious. I used some of this Rapunzel cocoa. And you just make it like normal granola. You know, you just um, add whatever goodies you want to add to the granola. So I used maple syrup as a sweetener. And then, um, you know, you use a little coconut oil or butter, whatever you want to use, and then add a little cocoa. So it's just like regular granola, only it's got chocolate in it, which is really good for you, unsweetened cocoa. And the other thing I used um, was um, Bob's Red Mill Oats. Um, Bob's is a really awesome um, brand that's actually located here in the Portland area. In fact, they their main like manufacturing plant is super close to my daughter's high school. And um, they have a ton of gluten-free, like, flowers and all kinds of grains and so we are lucky that they're so close to us because a lot of the stores around here carry tons of their stuff um and it's funny i'm always talking about gluten-free stuff uh i think it's kind of a portland thing <laughs> we're just used to having gluten-free stuff available everywhere but also my sister sarah and my best friend laura b the two of them cannot have gluten stuff and so i you know get used to making stuff without um, you know, without gluten in it, because if I'm having them over, you know, it's, I always really want to accommodate them if I can. And so, um, and so I'm always looking for solutions like that. So that's why you may be seeing me talk about that a lot on this channel, especially when I'm making chocolate stuff for breakfast, because you can have healthy chocolate for breakfast too. So, and this granola, I mean, it's just like regular granola, but it's super yummy and delicious because it has a little chocolate. Um, and if you're a chocolate fan, it's good stuff. So, Anywho, so let's get to the celebration. So the first thing I'm celebrating today is I am celebrating old friends. You know, it's funny when you talk to an old friend, it's it's funny how just time like, it's like you just were talking to them like you did yesterday, which was like 20 years ago, right? Um, and I had a, a high school friend of mine call me one o'clock at night, randomly I was up um, editing a YouTube video. <laughs> 
as I've been doing a lot lately because uh, of my 30 day video challenge. And so it was up anyway. And I was like, uh, Heather, hello. And it was hilarious because she had been texting back and forth with another high school friend of ours. We were all on dance team together. It'd be just fun if we just, you know, all got on the phone together. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. And it's funny because I, we had, I had just seen her, all three of the, you know, all three of us had seen each other at, um, we had our high school reunion this summer, but, um, I rarely talk to Heather on the phone. Now I see her in person probably every other year or something like that. And, um, she was, we went to the first grade together. So I've known her forever. In fact, her husband uh, was in the first grade with us, which is hilarious. Um, anyway, that's a whole other story. They didn't start dating until after high school, but uh, but we went to the first grade together. And um, and so even though I don't talk to her all the time, I still feel like she's one of my best friends. And um, when we do catch up on the phone, we're like, you know, we talk about things like we were like giddy school, school girls again. So anyway, that was really fun. And um, I rarely talk to her on the phone. Like we were both not really phone people. Um, I really prefer like in person or video conferencing or even online. I feel like it's, I don't know why just for something about the phone. Um, and, uh, but I have discovered that I don't mind the phone if I have headphones in, like if I can just talk and have my hands free to, maybe that's what it is. I'm just a hands talker. I hate talk with my hands a lot. So anyway, I just hate having to hold up the phone to my head. It just drives me crazy. So I like to be able to do stuff, move around, and uh, move my hands around. And uh, so, yeah, I, um, I have discovered that. So now I can chat on the phone for hours. But it was super fun to talk to her on the phone and my other friend, Robin. So cheers to old friends celebrating you. And I recommend, if you haven't talked to an old friend, especially one that you know, I, I know a lot of us are friends with people on Facebook or social media that we kind of know and we might not uh, you know, necessarily want to talk to you on the phone because we kind of barely know them, but it's just kind of fun to see what they're up to. But there are other friends that, you know, they're like sisters or brothers to us, right? They're like good friends and you could call them up at any point in time and you know, you could count on them. And Heather's one of those people for me. And, you know, so if you have a friend like that, that you haven't talked to in a while, pick up the phone and call them. It's such a random thing to do, but it's so fun. It's really, really fun. So we were talking about her old like car in high school. It was like this, like we used to call it the pregnant roller skate. It was one of those Honda Civics that were um, like super tiny, almost like the smart cars are now. Like they were really close to the same size, which makes me laugh because now cars are so much bigger. Um, but hers was like that. And it drove us around everywhere because she was able to drive before all of us. She was just a few months older than us turned, turned 16 first. And, Speaking of turning 16 and driving, my daughter officially got her driver's license this week. Woohoo! Party, party! Um, so that will relieve some of us from driving her around all the time. She can drive herself, which is awesome. Um, but I have to tell you, I'm a little bit nervous about that because um, because she she she's I'm just nervous because mainly because I got a big car accident a few years ago, and I think I'm just nervous in general about her driving. I'm just a uh, I'm nervous about anyone driving, but especially her because she's my daughter and I want her to stay safe. And um, anyway, anywho, so anyway, that was a little extra bonus celebration there. The next thing I'm celebrating today is touch and massage. I got a massage yesterday. It was absolutely incredible. It was so good. And um, I don't know if you've ever had a massage like that it almost felt like you could feel the love from the person. Like that's how it felt. Like it felt like this really loving extra care in his massage and it was, it was incredible. Like, uh, you know, I haven't had a massage in months, so I really, really needed it. Um, and my muscles had been sore and so it really felt really, really good. But beyond that, like just, I felt there was just extra bit of care and love given to the massage. And it made me think about in business, how important that is. Like if you can give a little extra love, um, to your clients, whether it's, you know, whatever service you're giving to them, that can be felt, right? It can be felt in the energy without you having to say anything. And I think that's a really, it was a really powerful lesson for me. I, I made me think, gosh, I wanna give more love to my clients when I'm giving service. Not that I didn't want to before, but it really made me think about, you know, how, how important that is and how that energy is definitely translated. And, you know, of course I gave them a big tip because it was, it was amazing. And I mean, oh my God, anyway. Um, and then the last thing I'm celebrating today is I am celebrating 
milestones because I am now halfway through my 30 day challenge. Um, there's been a couple of nights when I like barely made it, uh, got my video done like at midnight. And last night was one of those. I actually fell asleep um, while I was posting the video, while I was like, you know, uploading my video on YouTube. So I didn't uh, actually publish it, didn't get posted until after midnight. So that's okay though. I'll still have the 30 videos in 30 days and they'll be pretty close to one a day. I mean, the midnight deadline, that's a silly thing, right? So anyway, I'm just really happy that I have been able to do 30 videos or 15 now in 15 days and um, we'll continue on. So as I've been saying to everyone, if you have any ideas or thoughts um, about videos you would like to see me talk about, um, cover, whether it's about you know, copywriting or fantasy quotes or whatever. I always welcome them. So you can leave that in the comments below here or on any of my other videos. I'd love to know. So let's see what you guys are up to in the chat box. Let's see. Um, doo, 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 doo. All right. So J Rise says he's celebrating Adobe programs. I love Adobe programs too. Photoshop, InDesign, right? They do InDesign, I think. Um, I, I'm curious which one you love. I think you use Photoshop a lot, Jay. Um, Good friends. Oh my God. Good friends. We're on sync with that. I love it. And ambitious aims. Uh, yeah, I just did a video about this. Maybe that's where that came from. I'm like, I feel like I'm super ambitious and sometimes I get frustrated with myself and wish I wasn't so dang ambitious. I talked about that in my video just a couple days ago. So if you guys have a similar feeling, go check that one out. I, I'll, and I'll link it in the description below too. Um, after we're done here, but I totally, like I'm glad I'm ambitious and I'm glad I want to um, help people and serve the world. But sometimes, sometimes it's like when you're really ambitious and you're not like getting to where you want to be, it can be frustrating anyway. Um, and Lily Ma is celebrating momentum in your business. I love it. And being healthy. I am so on board with that, right? Being healthy is so good. It can really fuel you and give you energy and help you get more momentum in your business. And uh, that's why I'm always talking about chocolate because I think it's really healthy for you. And snow, are you guys getting snow up there? Um, I'm curious about that. That's awesome. And you're saying that my um, uh, granola looks good and you've had Bob's Grains. I love it. It's like right here in Portland. Like I drive by it almost daily. Um, and they have this huge facility and it's really cool. Um, I love their brand. They're just awesome. Let's see. Uh, and you're just laughing about my pregnant roller skate. <laughs> I, know, right? I don't think I coined that, but it's a really awesome term. I love it. Um, and Jay says he wants a video about games. Oh, cool. About, I love it. I wonder what made you think of that. I, I love that idea. Um, there's a gal that I saw, Jane McGonagall, I think it's her name. And she is um, somebody who has a whole TED talk about how games can really help you. She basically gamified things for herself because she was going through kind of a health crisis and it really helped her in her life. And, um, and there's all these statistics about how um, video games are actually really healthy for you and gaming just in general can help motivate you and give you momentum necessarily. So anyway, love her. I will link that TED talk in the um, description below too. She's so good. And uh, yeah, cool. I love it. And it snowed in Toronto. That's cool. Um, and yeah, thank you for the congrats about getting halfway through my video challenge. I'm so, I'm so happy about that. And I'm excited to try some new things. I've been I haven't done the sort of vlogging style, which I kind of have done a lot this last couple weeks. Um, and I'm gonna try some other new things too. I've been checking out other YouTubers and it's always, I mean, I just love getting motivated from other other peeps. So, um, and yeah, it sounds like both both of you, Jay and Lily, have seen Jane's TED Talk. It's so good, isn't it? It's just, it's amazing. I love, I love her. I actually got to see her in person. So she came to talk to a local high school here and um, it was one of the high schools that Laura was looking at going to. And I had a mom invite me to go see her speak. And it was really, really good. Um, she talked a lot. It was a lot of the same things that she covered in her TED Talk. In fact, I saw her speak in person first. And then I went and looked at her TED Talk. And it was pretty similar. But um, her and I actually have a chance to meet her. So, all right. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm so glad, Lily and Jay, that you got a chance to join me. I so appreciate you. I encourage you all, both of you and anyone who's watching this on the replay, to enjoy your day with a little chocolate or whatever your pleasure is make sure you have pleasure today and celebrate all the good things that are happening and i will put the recipe 
for the chocolate granola in the description below. Um, and I could see this being a great recipe. There's actually, it's a really good one. It's got some nuts in it and some chia seeds. It's really good for you. Um, but I could see you like mixing some other goodies too. Like you could mix in some dried berries or other nuts or even just chocolate chips or something if you want to add a little more chocolate to it. Um, it's pretty chocolatey though right now. So it's, uh, it's really good. So, all right. Thanks you guys. Really appreciate you being here and we'll see you next week for another chocolate breakfast. Um, and of course tomorrow for another video because I'm doing videos every day, peeps, every day. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.